was the senior cost judge. Uh, I'm effectively in charge of that part of the High Court which deals with the assessment of costs. So at the end of a civil case, we decide how much costs the losing party should pay the winning party. Um, we also hear uh, appeals from Crown Courts on determinations of costs in criminal cases. So we, we cover all costs. So in many bills, there must be expert witness element to it. Yes, I mean, the majority of civil bills. And uh, have you got any advice to experts in terms of bills and costing? Well, I mean, an expert may not have a specific interest in the outcome of an assessment sure. um, because they should be paid uh, whether their client wins or loses. But if they've acted as expert for the winning party, uh, then it's probably in their indirect interests that their client does as best as he or she can uh, in terms of recovering the full amount of the expert's fees. So it's helpful, I think, uh, in uh, cases where an expert's fees are being assessed uh, by the court um, for the expert to provide as much information as he can as to what he was doing without going overboard. We don't need a blow-by-blow -blow account of every minute spent, but we do need, or at least it's helpful to have, um, some information about how much time was spent on particular tasks. Now, many experts will be a stranger to, to time record keeping. Yes. Um, what advice do you give them around these records? Well, some are better than others. Accountants sure. are rather more like solicitors, course, so they there. will produce detailed time ledgers. Um, uh, if one takes a, a medical expert, for example, it's helpful to see, uh, for example, if they've conducted an examination uh, of the client, how much time they spent on the examination, how much time they spent reading medical records, um, if they did any research, how much time was spent on research, just in, in broad figures. So hours, what you did when you did it and how long it took? What you did when you did it and what it took. So if we look, if at the end of the day they're charging a uh, lump sum, £5,000 for a report, say, that if they can break it down into the number of hours they spent, then we can work out whether their hourly rate looks reasonable by comparison with what other experts are, are charging. Now, in terms of the Jackson reforms, in terms of time management by the courts and also proportionality, what do experts need to understand about that? Well, I think everybody needs to understand that both the government and the senior judiciary are intent on driving down the costs of litigation. Um, civil litigation, yeah. um, which for various reasons um, started to get out of control. That will have an impact on experts. We, mm. We're still working through at the moment how proportionality uh, it's going to work. There's an appeal from me going to the Court of Appeal probably early next year, which mm -hmm. may give us better guidance, guidance on it. as to how proportionality works. But whatever happens, um, it is undoubtedly the case that both the government and the senior judges are looking to drive down the costs, and that is going to include um, experts' costs as part of the component of the total. What about cost budgeting? Because some experts don't really understand that either. Well, cost budgeting is probably a challenge for experts, it's certainly sure. a challenge for lawyers, um, effectively towards the beginning of the case, or towards the beginning of the case insofar as it's um, been in court. Um, the lawyers for both parties uh, have to produce budgets of what the costs are going to be right Likely to the end, to be, yeah. and that includes experts' fees, so experts will increasingly be asked, um, pretty much at the beginning of their instruction, how much it's going to cost to, to get them through to the end of the case and, and that involves an awful lot of crystal ball gazing in terms of the amount of work that's likely to be required um, so it will be difficult. So of course experts if they have been keeping proper records will get a better idea of how much time it will take to do a particular case won't they? Yeah, they, they should but they, they will be being asked um, at the beginning of the case how much time they're likely to spend in the future sure. a and it's going to be difficult to predict because one never knows what is going to happen in a case as we all know. So the, the unexpected happens, they will may be required to do work which they haven't anticipated. In a happy case they may be doing less than they anticipated but either way it, it is going to involve a lot of crystal ball gazing. Um, uh, particularly in criminal cases legal aid has been cut substantially and many experts are finding it difficult to um, take on that work. Um, do you have any comments about that or what experts should do? Should they just say no if they can't do it within the timescale? 
Well, there are, yes, there are limited timescales. There are also limited uh, hourly rates payable sure. um, by the legal aid agency. Um, I, I suppose it's for experts to decide whether they're happy to do that sort of work in those rates. pressures at those rates. Um, but as you know, means testing of criminal legal aid means that there are more defendants who are having to pay for their own representation. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that then creates other budgeting difficulties for experts and, and criminal defendants. And finally, this may be outside of your uh, purview, but one of the complaints that experts have is late payment of fees. Mm. So the case is in progress, they do their report, they send in their bill, but they don't get paid for weeks, months, years. Any thoughts on that? Well, it's something you can discuss at the outset. Um, my experience is that a lot of experts are now agreeing to defer payment until the end of the case. That's because effectively the lawyers aren't going to be paid until the end of the case and the lawyers will, won't be paid until they've won the case and got the money from the other side. Um, again, it's just something that experts have to take into account when they agree to do this work. Um, it may be some time before they, before they get paid, I'm afraid. So it's, it is down to terms and conditions at the outset, yes. uh, 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 and then taking a view on cash flow. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very thank much. You very much. Thank you.